Music-wise, I definitely had the memory of playing Fallout, the original Fallout, and Mark Morgan's score in that game, which to me is one of the things that made it so haunting and creepy and dark. And to me, it just adds this wet, heavy blanket of despair to the whole landscape of the game. So I at least had that in the back of my mind before we started any scoring work with Enon Zor on Fallout 3. What Enon Zor brings to the table in terms of setting a tone or mood for the Fallout games really stems from the main theme is always the initial piece that we get to work on together. The melody and the chord changes within that main theme end up echoed throughout the whole game. It's kind of like a color palette. That's how I always think of it. He is establishing sort of the key art or reference color palette for much of the game. And then we're threading that throughout as much as possible to sort of bring that flavor to other parts of the game to hint back at the main theme Certainly, it's very dark. I think the Fallout 3 main theme is the darkest, the grimmest of, of any of the ones we've done since. But you notice the change, I think, especially with Fallout 4, it has a much warmer kind of core to it. Um, warmer use of chords. It's got much more of like a hopeful heart. I'll talk with Enon about, hey, let's write music for this region. Here are a couple of ideas. I love that he's always willing to try it. And there's a fun, back and forth between the two of us. We always get to evolve what we did before into something else. That alone, you know, is reason enough to always look forward to working with Enon again. <laughs> 